For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that one more topic from the series of videos uh, Linux tutorial complete beginners guide by Tech ARK IT. So in this video session, we are going to see that um, directory structure. So how the Linux directory structure is uh, created and when now where your data stored exactly what directory will store what type of data and what is its usage and uh, if you know that what are the directories are main important on the linux side what they contains so that you can easily troubleshoot whenever you get any issues on the server side so if you get any issues so where to go exactly look for where you have to go for looking for the logs or where you have to go for uh, looking for the configuration files so that's why you have to know the directory structure and its important directory uh, directories so that you can know where exactly the data is stores so let's see that so we have the uh, first of all the directory structure is slash which is called as an a uh, root directory so not a home directory for the root but it's a slash directory and it's a upper directory top directory for the linux so under that it contains lot of directories like bin boot dev etc home lib lib64 media mnt opt proc root root is for root home directory run as bin SRV, SYSSIS, TEMP, TEMP, ESR, and VAR. So these are the most important directories. Other than that, you can create number of directories if you want to mount a different different file system altogether. But these are the by default comes with the operating system whenever you install it. Okay. So in previous version, there is no directory called SRV or run. So but in new versions, so these are all the directories you will get it. So what they're important and how the directories are um, structured. Let's see that. So if you go to the slash boot, so the directory contains static files required to boot the system, which means so whenever your system has been booting, whatever the required uh, files you need for booting the system so which stored in the slash boot such as linux kernel these files are essential for the system to boot properly so if you do not have any um, files missing on the slash boot directory so your system will not boot properly which go into the emergency mode or single user mode or it may go into the grub mode as well so Make sure that you have all the data backed up to the slash boot so that if you have any failures on the boot, you can just restore it back and bring back the system. So the next one is slash dev. The directory contains device nodes that either represent devices that are attached to the system or virtual devices that are provided by the kernel. So uh, virtual devices and attached to the system example you have attached your uh, thumb drive or the pen drive to the system so which required one device like slash dev slash media example or slash media slash dvd slash media slash dev slash cd dvd rom uh, sorry cd rom dvd okay so now new devices which cd or dvd which is called as sr0 sr1 something like that so those are the devices will be uh, contains the device node so which means that, that it contains the device details so you can mount those devices and use use them so all the device data will be stored at slash dev slash etc the directory is reserved for configuration files that are local to the machine no binaries are to be placed in so which means the directory is completely reserved for configuration files only so it should not contain any executable 
binaries example like the any scripts or if you write anything so you do not store into the slash utc okay so which is mainly used for local configuration file store so any configuration most of the uh, softwares or anything if you want to read the configuration file you have to go to slash etc under that there are sub directories and sub files so you need to look for so the next one uh, slash bin the bin directory contains the essential user programs that must be present when the system is mounted in single user mode contains important system programs and utilities such as bash shell are located in slash bin example uh, the bin directory contains the essential programs user programs essential in the sense like whatever the program you execute as a user normal user um, like cat cat cd so all these type of commands binaries will be stored in slash bin again if you boot your system into the single user mode or emergency mode then it's also required some files example if you want to edit some configuration you misplace some configuration file so you need to copy it or you have you need to create some files on the single user modes then you can use the vi or nano so those are the essential programs required to the user is stored into the slash bin again slash bin directly is accessible and those commands are is a normal user commands most of the normal user commands will be stored in the slash bin directory and slash has been directory is similar to the slash bin directory so it also contains the essential binaries that are generally intended to run by the root user or the system administrators so example there are few commands which can only be executed by the root user example f this command it can only be executed by the root commands if you want to change some partition size or if you want to create new partitions all this stuff can only be done by the sudoers or sudo users or root users which means system administration required commands will be at slash has been so this will be why it is divided because if you want to restrict somebody user who do not have the access to the uh, administration commands or the uh, more uh, system commands so you can segregate into the different directory and you can make the permissions appropriately so that's why it is differentiated between the slash bin and slash has been slash home so most of the people know slash home is the contains the home directory for the users so example if you if you create a user called ravi so the by default it's create the slash home slash ravi is the user uh, directory so which can create users data so example desktop documents downloads whatever the data you want to store it your place so it will by default store is the your home directory path so slash lib or slash lib 64 so lib directory contains the libraries needed by the essential binaries in the slash bin and slash has been folder libraries needed by the binaries in the slash user bin folder are located in slash user lib so basically um, bin slash bin or slash has been contains some essential commands programs but those are also required some associated supporting files example the library files the c code uh, library files so whenever you want to execute some commands right so which required some supporting files to run in background so those libraries essential required libraries linked to this slash lib and slash lib 64 so slash lib is for 32 bit systems and slash lib for 64 is for 64 64 64 bit systems operating systems so slash media and slash mnt most of the times in all the operating system we see that slash media and slash mnt so historically speaking the slash mnt directory is where the system administrators are mounted temporary file system while using them so whenever you want to mount a temporary file system example you just uh, uh, plugged in your thumb drive or the pen drive then you want to mount that so you can just use slash media or slash mnt to mount it 
and you can unmount it so those are the optional folders or the those are the um, folders are just given to use it as a temporary mount points slash media directory contains subdirectories where removable media devices inserted into the computer are mounted so the same example slash opt uh, is a directory contains sub directories for optional software packages additional packages will install into slash opt directory so which means that whenever you have an optional package which is not a uh, mandatory package for the operating system example if you want to install a chrome Chrome is a browser which is does not come with the operating system, which is an external software or the optional software. So those type of optional softwares and its related directories are the configuration files are the related uh, uh, executables will be stored in the slash opt. So that the optional directory for uh, softwares, optional softwares can be stored over there and. Uh, slash proc directory contains special files that prevent system and process information so um, represent system and process information basically the slash proc directory contains the very special files for example if you want to know your system uh, memory utilization of the memory how much memory you have installed on the system or how many cpus it contains what is their speed brand their details so this prop contains most of this its hardware and system process information all the details in the proc directory slash root uh, directory is the home directory of the user so example the user can the root user can only access this directory so because slash root is very special for the slash root user so the slash root user home directory will not store in slash home slash root so it's stored in slash root directory so that's the special directory for the root because root is a very special user and it contains high privileges so that's why it has separate direct home directory for root and slash run slash run directory is fairly new and it gives applications a standard place to store transit files they require like sockets process ids example uh, which is very very special directory uh, which is created on a new distributions like example like rgl7 and rgl8 or centos7 centos newly coming di uh, versions so here what this store slash run stores uh, process ids example some application is running with the, some process id so it's it it's create some pid file dot pid file and it locks so those kind of files and sockets will be created under slash run so the directory is only clean solution for early runtime directory problem so example um, it creates the directory uh, before it was in slash tmp something like that but recently they changed it to slash run because this is cleaned very often the example the system process has been executed completed then the process id will go off so that time the pid log will go off and it clean up so that's why early run run time directories so that problem will be resolved over here slash srv directory contains data for services provided by the system you can use slash srv to store application data alternatively so if you want to do store some application related data so you can use slash srv as well slash sys directory modern linux distributions include slash the, the slash sys directory as a virtual file system which stores and allows modifications of the devices connected to the system okay and slash sysfs example the sysfs is used by programs such as udev to access device and device driver information so this is where the uh, slash sysfs is used by the programs to access the device and its device driver information so that's the sys directory and this sys directory uh, may not contain in a previous versions like uh, 
ആർ എച്ച് എൽ ഫൈവ് ആർ എച്ച് എൽ സിക്സ് ഫോർട്ടീൻ ആർ എച്ച് എൽ സെവൻ ആൻഡ് എച്ച് സെവൻ എയ്റ്റ് അപ്കമിങ് വേർഷൻസ് വിൽ കണ്ടെയ്ൻ ദിസ് സ്ലാഷ് ഇസ് ഡയറക്ടറി സ്ലാഷ് യു എസ് ആർ സോ സ്ലാഷ് യു എസ് ആർ ഡയറക്ടറി കണ്ടെയ്ൻസ് അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഫയൽസ് യൂസ്ഡ് ബൈ യൂസേഴ്സ് ആസ് അപ്പോസിറ്റ് ടു അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഫയൽസ് യൂസ്ഡ് ബൈ ദി സിസ്റ്റം ദ യൂസർ യു എസ് ആർ ഡയറക്ടറി ആൾസോ കണ്ടെയ്ൻസ് അതർ ഡയറക്ടറീസ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ആർക്കിടെക്ചർ ഇൻഡിപെൻഡൻറ്റ് ഫയൽസ് ലൈക്ക് ഗ്രാഫിക്സ് ആർ ലൊക്കേറ്റഡ് ഇൻ സ്ലാഷ് യു എസ് ആർ ഷെയർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ആർക്കിടെക്ചർ ഇൻഡിപെൻഡൻറ്റ് ഫയൽസ് വിച്ച് മീൻസ് ദാറ്റ് വിച്ച് നോട്ട് എ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഫയൽസ് ടു ദി സിസ്റ്റംസ് ബട്ട് ദീസ് ആർ ദി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഫയൽസ് ടു ദി യൂസേഴ്സ് ആർ ദി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഫയൽസ് ടു ദി കണ്ടെൻറ്റ് സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് ദി മെയിൻ പർപ്പസ് ഓഫ് സ്ലാഷ് യു എസ് ആർ സോ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഇഫ് യു ഇൻസ്റ്റാൾ ഇനി നാജോസ് മോണിറ്ററിംഗ് സിസ്റ്റം എക്സാമ്പിൾ സോ വിച്ച് സ്റ്റോർ ഇൻ സ്ലാഷ് യു എസ് ആർ ലോക്കൽ നാജോസ് സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ദി എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഓഫ് ദി സ്റ്റോറിംഗ് ദി ഡേറ്റ വിച്ച് ഈസ് നോട്ട് എസെൻഷ്യൽ ഫോർ ദി അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ എക്സാമ്പിൾ നോട്ട് എസെൻഷ്യൽ ഫോർ ദി സിസ്റ്റം ബട്ട് വിച്ച് കണ്ടെൻസ് ദി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഡേറ്റ സ്ലാഷ് വാർ സോ മോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദി ലോഗ് ഫയൽസ് ഇഫ് യു സേ സ്ലാഷ് വാർ വിച്ച് കണ്ടെൻസ് ദി സ്റ്റാൻഡ്സ് ഫോർ ദി വേരിയബിൾ ആൻഡ് ദ കണ്ടെൻസ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് ഫയൽ ഈസ് എക്സ്പെക്റ്റഡ് ടു ഗ്രോ ദിസ് ഡയറക്ടറി കണ്ടെൻസ് ലോഗ് ലോഗ് ഫയൽസ് സ്പൂൾ മെയിൽ ആൻഡ് ടെമ്പ് ഫയൽസ് so here the this slash var directory it's expected to grow because uh, most of the log files example the messages or any related any different related application log files will be stored over here so if you want to look some troubleshooting stuff what happens in a previous one day uh, why the system is growing uh, why the system is uh, behaving like every time the memory peaks are uh, example the cpu spikes so then you can identify exactly the timings and log data using the slash var log files so this is most important for the looking at the log files data so keep on storing the logs the directory will automatically grow so that's why you need to keep flexible to increase and decrease the data of the slash var slash tmp so this is very temporary purpose used so systems temporary directory accessible by the users and root stores temporary files for user and system till next boot so whenever the system has been rebooted so most of the temp directory will be cleaned up so you do not see some data if you store it the slash tmp path so that's why do not store any important data over here so just downloads or some temporary files and you can just clean it up okay so if you store any important data in the slash tmp so anybody can access and delete the data because the temporary directory contains the special permissions to access by the users and the root that's about it guys uh, thanks for watching stay tuned do not forget to subscribe and like the uh, press the like button on the video so if you like it please share with your friends colleagues or anybody who looking to learn the linux uh, and if you have any questions related to this video you can comment on the comment box or if you want to send a personal message or you want to shoot me an email you can just send at aravikumar48 at gmail.com or you can also tweet at uh, aravikumar48 uh, in the twitter you can also follow me on the twitter